Hi everyone, it's Amy, and today I wanted to share a tutorial with, um, you know, just some ideas and suggestions for how to work with the awning piece that goes with my um, storefront die. Um, so let me get started. When you, with the storefront die comes with the store piece, and then there's a um, awning die cut as well. And basically what I do to create the awning, and let me show you what the awning looks like on an actual sample. Um, here's my storefront mini, and so ooh, the angle is hard to work with here. And so that's the awning on the mini. And so basically to, to get that effect, um, we well, work with this piece, and what I do is I score, there's a line here that I score with my Martha Stewart board, and then there's a line here that I score, and then there's another line here that I score, and I get... Um, this piece and I fold it once I score it so I get this piece and basically what you do is you use your adhesive here on these components and then you can glue down the um, awning like that on the storefront so let me put it down so you can see it better um, yeah so it looks you know it fits on the window like that those pieces glue down and you can use hot glue or you know, I use scotch adhesive or hot glue, something strong that will, will keep it in place. But then there's one more step that I do for the awning on the interior page, on the exterior page, the cover page, which is I create a score line um, right here. And so that way, by creating the score line there and creasing it, I get this effect um, for the window. So it looks, you know, something like this and you get a little bit more of an overhang on exterior pages. And the reason I didn't, you know, kind of like make a score, make the cut come with a score line here is because basically on interior pages, you, you probably don't want that much dimension and you want it to lie flat. So um, on interior pages, what I do is I just kind of chop off these sides here and here. And I get something that looks like this and then I just put it here like that for interior pages so that it lays nice and flat and then when so when it's laying like nice and flat like this you really don't need or, or really want a score line there so I've, it's and it's just as easy to um, put it in yourself and use your scoreboard to score the line and then you know then then crease it so yeah so that's how I work with the awning die cut that comes with my um, you know my storefront collection but you know it's really, um, you're really not limited to that. There's so much you can do. And so I was playing. And so like I took the um, Tim Holtz Elegant Labels die and I cut it in half, one of them. And um, you can, you know, and I made put like a little jump ring and a little charm. And then you can get like this effect, um, you know, uh, with the, you know, with using other dies. So don't be afraid to experiment. Um, I took a Tim Holtz on the edge die and the postage stamps and I created this and you can create you know like a custom window covering with your on the edge dies. You could also use like a um, you know a border punch as well. Um, here's a here's just a sample this is the Baroque die everybody has this you could create an effect with that you know using it on your your die and then I also have this um, Sizzix die that looks like a little house it's really really cute and it comes with this um, little roof piece, which is cute. And that also kind of I was playing with that, and that would that would work if I wanted to set the store up more like a house. Um, it would fit and look really really cute. So th those are options as well. So yeah, so don't be afraid to play and try different things. I mean, you could also probably you know make little curtains with fabric and all sorts of things to to accent the window of the sty. So yeah, so I also wanted to share with you some sneak peeks today of some new dies I have coming out. Um, here's the first one. This is uh, my carriage die. And I'm really excited about this die. Let me back up so you can get a better look. Sorry for any bounciness. Oops, it's not working too great. All right, there we go. And um, yeah, so this is the, my new carriage die. And I just love carriages because I think they're so romantic and so much fun and they look so pretty when they're all decorated with flowers and 
and trim. So I wanted to create a carriage die where I could, you know, go to town decking out a carriage and having a lot of fun. And I'm actually working on a mini right now with the uh, Western Romance Paper Collection. Um, it's really a pretty soft romantic collection and it works great with this die. And also Jade um, from Jaded Studios, who's on the design team, she's uh, working on a mini right now with this carriage die and the um, Prima Printery line, which is also perfect um, vintage collection to work with this particular die. So that's my carriage album that'll be, you know, coming out in the coming weeks. And also, this one's super fun. Um, it's uh, my kitchen die. And so this one's a little harder to see, but um, basically I have a, um, a little stove, a little retro stove, really cute, that I drew. And um, to sit on the stove, I have a little, a little teapot. So, yeah, so you can put kind of fits perfectly on there and then I also design like a utensil rack so that's really cute um, and then you can put the utensils on there and I have uh, a little spatula it's cute um, a little rolling pin really cute um, a whisk and a um, oh I love this I love the frying pan it's really really cute so yeah, so that looks really, really cute on the um, on the uh, rack. And let me see if I can get an angle here that you can see it. Oh, that works. Yeah. You can see how, you know, everything kind of lines up together. So, oops, and then this one over here is well, just a little off. But yeah, but that's my um, kitchen album that I'm going to, you know, for my newest uh, custom die cut collection that I designed with AccuCut. So yeah, so if you want any more information about any of, you know, how to work with the awning or ideas or whatever, just send me a message, I'll let you know, and um, yeah, if you have any questions about the new custom dies that are coming out, let me know that as well, I'm always happy to answer them, and um, thanks everybody, have a great day, bye.